If you're more of an early bird but still want to celebrate the holidays with a delicious feast, then brunch is the route you should take. Amy Hanton, the Cooking Mom, is here in our Studio 41 kitchen with tips for how to create the ultimate holiday brunch. And dinner. I've kind of, these to go either way, you know what I mean? Yes. I know everyone's into brunch, um, so, and some of those brunch dishes are actually more lunch dinner, so yes. you don't always okay. have to do French toast, right? No, no. <laughs> All these recipes will keep you out of the kitchen and hanging out with your family. And, All right. You know, nobody Good wants to be bad. stuck in the kitchen. Well, true that. True that. <laughs> hide in your kitchen and have cocktails. Sometimes the kitchen is cooking. Bad, but if you want to get there and watch the football yes. game, right. this will get you out of the kitchen. Absolutely. So right. we're going to start with the holidays. There's a lot of brown, right? Yep. I mean, so I love bright, colorful dishes, and I love to have some fresh, healthy alternatives. Yep. A big, beautiful salad is always a must at brunch or on my holiday dinner table. And this that looks one delicious. is so festive, crazy easy, and it's kid friendly. Oh, yeah. Uh, both you guys have kids. A lot of the big turnoff for salads is really strong dressings. Yep. Yes. This is a kid friendly dressing. It's got orange juice and honey. Everyone loves it. Super okay. easy. Shake up your homemade dressings in a clear canning jar. Really okay. easy. So I've got fresh squeezed orange juice in there. You could also use your orange juice from your, you know, in the fridge. A little bit of honey. You want to throw some honey in there for me? The you have a little spatula. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, it's up to you how sweet you want to do it. Just a little bit will do, a little dab will do you. A little salt and pepper, and then some. Um, some olive oil or some canola oil. Throw that in there, shake it up in a jar. This can be done ahead of time. Extra dressing will keep in your fridge for a week. You can use it on another salad down the road. Also great tossed love in a mason salad. jar. Yeah, yeah that's love what those too. Say. For the salad itself, I'm using a heartier green. You said your kids love fresh spinach. Yes, um, so this, like yeah, it, this is arugula. It's gonna stand up a little bit more. Uh, go ahead and drizzle a little bit of that salad. I'm gonna kind of mix it up. it a little bit. Oh, it's perfect. And you see how it's coating the jar? It's yes. gonna coat the greens. That's a really healthy kid-friendly dressing and, and the mandarins are going to be all over. Yeah, oh. Oranges are very holiday, and, yeah, right? Yeah. Uh, and, and then so I love the pomegranates. pomegranates. Yeah. And then some goat cheese or feta cheese. You could also do some nuts and watch this get devoured. Um, and it's just pretty, right? Yes. I mean, everyone so wants to eat, you know, a big, beautiful salad like that. Oh, yeah. Good. And now it glistens. Oh, yeah, it's pretty. Yeah. Beautiful. Let's move on to the ham. Yes. Yeah, so ham is a no-brainer, right? Uh, during Thanksgiving, it's like turkey. It's like, oh, do I pull it out now? Is it, it going to be undercooked, overcooked, dry? Yeah. Ham is already cooked. You're just warming it. The way to take it to the next level is to have a great sauce on top of it. Oh, so yeah. this is a, this is a great recipe. It's called a sweet heat holiday ham. So the first thing I'm going to have you do is brush this baby, and any size ham will work. Um, with this is honey mustard. So honey mustard on the front, you know, just on kind of on the yeah, okay. exactly. Now the secret to this is uh, Tony Sacheries is yes, a yes. great Creole seasoning. They mm -hmm. have a whole line of injectable marinades for turkey, mm -hmm. and they have one for ham. Oh, it's a praline honey ham comes with this little injector so we're gonna give it flavor inside and out so boom you're doing great um so you're just gonna okay. come in here with this guy and just oh look at it kind of the place up Oh, and it's, and it's this praline. It's a praline honey uh, marinade. So How deep are you salmon. going? You know what? It, this is just not rocket science. Okay. Just kind of get in I there. I overanalyze all yeah. this stuff. Yeah, um, <laughs> and it comes with the injector. Okay. So then we're going to really give it some uh, seasoning. This is the Tony's Creole seasoning all over, and they can make a salt free too. And then we're going to do a sauce to go on top. Brown sugar, honey. A little more of the Tonys. Okay. I've got my oven preheated to 325 degrees. It only takes about an hour to bake. But uh, again, a little bit of this marinade goes right over the ham. The whole oh, yeah. thing gets dumped on top, and, and it look is. At, oh, look at this baby the when it's done. Sweet and the and yeah. the heat and product. Yeah, as well. and you know, the sauce can be spooned on top of the ham, uh -huh. and so yummy. We'll I bet this is better the next day. It yes. is, and that's why I love a ham. Leftovers. We were talking about pea soup, yep. scalloped potatoes, and ham. Oh, all sorts of recipes <laughs> for the leftover <laughs> and ham on my website. Uh, the side dish, holidays. You know, macaroni. we got kids. Yep. Macaroni and cheese. Make it kids simple. Love it. Adults love it. Here's a new way to do it. Mac and cheese minis. Everybody gets their own. That's yep. really on trend. No flour, no roux. There's no like, anybody can make this. Starts out with just macaroni noodles, right? We're adding some egg, a little bit of melted butter. Full recipes on my website. Uh, we're using some, uh, this is sour cream. Oh, and good so idea. And so a little bit of that, that, you know, you don't have to do the stove top yep. with the roux and the flour and yep. worry about lump. You can do a little pepper. bit of mustard, you don't have to, salt and pepper, boom. Mix this all together um, and then milk. And you're gonna notice there's a, quite a bit of liquid. Don't be worried about that. That's because when it bakes, it's gonna be really nice and creamy. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when you bake macaroni and cheese, it's dry. We don't want that. We don't so want in dry. goes mm -hmm. cheddar cheese. I, I did this in my muffin tins. You spray them, breadcrumbs on the bottom. Oh. And that way they don't stick. This gets scooped into the muffin up 
tin, more breadcrumbs on top, and bake for about 15 product. minutes, they pop right out. Super cute. And the kids it can is. use it. You eat can, it they themselves. can pick them up with I their hands. It. And eat them. The oh, kids they love table that. is fun, yes. man. That's uh, awesome. Know? Yeah, we said it's a little kid. <laughs> I know. Real quickly, yeah, yeah, real quick, time. A no bake dessert, chocolate peppermint trifles, uh, brownie, layered them in dishes. This is chocolate pudding and, and cool whip, which uh, forms into <gasps> like a mousse on that top. Is so delicious. Then uh, oh, we're going to yeah. do a little bit of this is whipped cream. I've got some peppermint in here. Top and you it with the crushed candy cane. So pretty. It looks like your party was absolutely catered. Last but not least, Festive cock, cock, or non-alcoholic uh, non drinks. We've drinks. talked about this before. Snowflake white chocolate hot cocoa. <gasps> Keep it warm. Just a few ingredients. You could certainly spike it with peppermint schnapps for the adults. <laughs> uh, <laughs> keep it separate. Garnish with the crushed candy canes, and it's just the kids. The can kids feel will love too. that. Oh, I got, you got to try some of this. They're mm -hmm. going to feel like adults now. Absolutely. You know, they love that Absolutely. participating with the big kids. Yeah, and that's super fun if you're taking the kids out for a winter hike or sledding. Oh. They come back to Ooh, this. this is good. Yeah, yeah. that looks great. I know. I got. A, I bought a whole box of uh, candy canes. They were all crushed. What do you do with them? There Use you go. Them to Use make the these time. things. So Amy. happy holidays. Thank you, Amy. This Amy. Is so yeah, make sure you check out all of Amy's recipes on her webpage. Of course, all of her her social media handles at The Cooking Mom. Thanks, Amy. 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 Thanks, Amy.